in this tip of the day, let's take a look at altering geometry to assist with toolpath. In this example, we have the orange solid model. It's on a fixture plate. Let's hide the fixture plate. I'm going to hit the letter S on the keyboard, left click, and then hit the letter B on the keyboard to blank or hide that. All right, so let's head over to the command manager. We'll go into our model toolpaths, and let's just apply a planar finish machining operation to this. All right, so I'm happy with the tool that we're using, just a 3 8 diameter ball end mill. All my clearance values look good. All these parameters look fine. I'm just going to accept the defaults and let one CNC generate the toolpath. Now, if we take a look down here, you can see that the toolpath stops exactly at the edge of the part. Well, you may want the toolpath to go a little bit further. Well, here's a suggestion that could help out. If you head over to the command manager, go inside of your model operations and choose this operation called break to surfaces. That's going to convert the solid model into individual surfaces. Then there's an option called extend a surface. And here we're going to use an extend amount of let's say a hundred thousands. I think that looks good. And all I'm going to do is get my cursor close to the edge of the surface that I'd like to extend. So I'm going to left click. I'm going to rotate the view a little bit here. And I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to left click right about there. Now with that surface extended, we could go back into our planar finish machining operation, repick path. I'm going to use exactly the same parameters. We'll just quickly push through these dialog boxes and click finish. And now we have toolpath that's gone a little bit further than the edges. All right, that's it for this tip of the day. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. And don't forget to click the subscribe button.